Top Tip Tuesday time again with me, Bob. Hello. On today's video, I'm going to show you how we can do a Nexus fluid flip simulation and how we can get these nice sticky object effects with the water dripping off this as it rises from our fluid body. So let's get started. In our scene here, we've got this drop tank set up and let's just have a quick look at the settings. Gravity in the defaults, we've got a color with a gradient by parameter speed just in the defaults set up. And then our Nexus fluids, we are set to the flip solver and this is all default apart from we've put the voxel size down to seven and the domain size down slightly to these dimensions. In our emitter, we'll go to the emission tab. Uh, we've got a uh, box emitter shape and we are shooting particles out on the first frame we are using the regular uh, kind of grid emission which is perfect for flip fluid so we get even particle distribution within the voxels and we've got a radius of 1.5 but one thing to note which we need to change is the regular emission type gives us that nice even distribution uh, but it also obviously gives us two regular um, an emission and we can see some gridding here when we, and when we uh, mesh this we might get gridding in the mesh so what we'll do is we'll keep that even distribution but we'll add some jitter which will randomly jitter the position of the particles just to break up this grid a bit so a good idea is to use the same radius as your particle radius in the jitter so let's do xy jitter of 1.5 and a z jitter of 1.5 as well something like that so now you'll see we've got the same really nice distribution of particles but it's just broken up that uh, grid which is uh, what we wanted excellent so now that we've got our fluid sim set up and uh, we're going to be doing some collisions actually and moving these particles around quite a lot so let's go to our nexus logo um, we want the collisions same workflow as always we'll go to tags extensions insidium and bring in a collider tag take off the bounce and the friction we don't need that and then in the fluids because we're messing with these particles um it'd be good to have a slightly greater um, velocity accuracy to, to get that we go to the solver accuracy settings and just up these sub steps a little bit maybe just by one so two min and four max and that's looking good so let's just leave everything else as is so now that we've got these collisions active if I move my um, object around it splashes around in the fluid and we get this really nice fluid motion that's looking great but if we lift it up, we're not getting that nice effect of the particles uh, falling off. We want that big kind of object rising from the water look. So we to, uh, to do that, we need to use another modifier. We're going to use a sticky modifier. So let's bring in the Nexus sticky. Here it is. And this requires an object. So it's going to be the same as our collision object, isn't it? The Nexus logo. Drag that in. And the only thing we're not going to... Um, use in these defaults is we're not going to use inherit speed we just want them when they get unstuck we just want them to fall straight down with gravity all right so now that we've got that let's hit play and i'm going to drag this down and if we lift that up you'll see yes look so those particles are sticking to the surface and then falling off over time that's looking really cool already all right let's just have a look at some of the settings then so we've got a probability um, and this is uh, if particles are within the search range and within the tolerance range then they will definitely stick to this object if you reduce the probability obviously not all of the particles will stick which makes it look a little bit more random we'll just keep it in the defaults so then we've got range and tolerance the range is the search range and you want this to be as low as possible to make calculations quicker if we ramped up this range to 300 centimeters um, 300 centimeters from within this object it's going to calculate almost every single particle here and we've got look uh, almost quarter of a million um, so it's going to take a long time if we reduce this range down to 10 centimeters it's only going to calculate the particles that are within that range which means there are far fewer calculations going on so that's what the range does and then you've got the tolerance now the tolerance is um, the distance at which particles will stick to the surface of the object and if you've got this set too high particles will just jump from their current position to being stuck on the object let me demonstrate that to you um, we'll put the range up really high 
so obviously I wouldn't uh, advise doing this normally because it's having to calculate every single particle. Look, you can see it's running more slowly now. But then if we put our tolerance, let's uh, let's let these ones fall off a bit. So you can see by having that much higher range, uh, search range, uh, it's slowed down because it's calculating all these particles. But now look, if we put, let's just move the camera really close, something like that. If we increase this tolerance range to this distance here, um, let's put this up to say 50 centimeters, you'll see, let's go up higher, maybe 100. Look, see, they just snapped to the surface. So they jumped from whatever position they were here and they snapped to that surface and joined on, which obviously is unrealistic and, and, and not what we want. So that is what your tolerance will do. And that's the difference between range and tolerance. For us, let's put this range down to, say, 15 and the tolerance down to 10 centimeters. So we're not going to get that um, jumping. Look how much more quickly it's simulating as well and we're only really going to get our particles sticking once they are kind of within that water surface which is what we want lift them up and they all start falling off which looks cool let's just quickly have a look at our sticky time um the sticky time is 60 frames but then we've got this sticky fall off so they they stick to that over the 60 frames and then begin unsticking and this is set up so you get this kind of nice random fall off so not all particles are released at the same time and we get this really nice look just on the defaults of them falling down now if you want that to be quicker obviously just reduce that sticky time to say 30 frames and then it's not going to be um, holding on to there quite as long. Bring it up and you'll see that they're kind of released more quickly. You can reduce that further. You can obviously increase that sticky time. Look, let's put that sticky time on to say 150. But then let's get rid of that knot. So we get fall off something like that. And then we'll dunk our uh, object. Lift it up. So we get a much longer sticky time, but they start falling off straight away because of the fall off. And you get this really long stream of uh, particles being released from that object. Cool. So loads of interesting control with our Nexus sticky. You don't have to do a lot. It's really easy to use. And we get these very nice looking um, object sticking. Great for these shots where you've got these objects rising out of that fluid body. Very cool indeed.